Good day, everyone. Welcome to Thai Tech Consult. My name is Emmanuel Cyprian. Good news. Out of popular demand, I'm bringing you Thai Tech Consult self paced risk management framework training. What do I mean? I mean that you can gain access to my online live recorded videos, my live online classes, the seven weeks, the seven classes, the seven videos, you now you can now have access to it. You don't need to come to my physical class. You don't need to come to my online classes. Yes, I understand you have a busy schedule. You want to study on your own pace, at your own time, you know, at your own speed. Yes. So you are the one that I'm, you know, referring to. So this is an opportunity for you. I know some of you have been asking me, oh, can I gain access to your detailed recorded videos? So this is it, and this is what it covers. So if you are the type that wants to study on your own pace, on your own time, at your own speed, or you want to you know, refresh your memory for RMF concepts, you want to refresh your memory concerning you know, job interviews, you want to refresh your memory, you know, concerning, you know, the CAP certification exams. Yes, this is the product for you. What are the benefits? Now, I will give you 90 days access, which is three months access to all my RMF videos. There are seven videos in total. So you will have access to them. They are live online recorded video. These videos, is all about risk management framework seven steps and in these videos is purely hands-on so the video prepare you for the cap certification exam it prepares you for job interviews with hands-on documentations templates and also you will have the ability to download the pdf copy of the training materials the training slide you're going to see on the video you will have access to download it, it will be yours. And this is at an affordable price. In this video, you will also find how to build your resume, assessment tools, vulnerability scanning tools, likely interview questions, hands-on recorded you know, training. We talked about it in this video, it's loaded. Minimum of two hours per video. So, let us look at who are the audience? For this video who are the audience for this self-paced one for those seeking to transition into cyber security you can make use of this video for those that needs to refresh themselves of risk management framework concept probably you have taken the classes before somewhere else or with me you want to refresh your memory about it this video is useful for you for those preparing for the isc2.org cap certification exam this video is for is useful for you for those preparing for my2.com is cap certification exam this video is meant for you for those preparing for job for cyber security job interviews this is a video for you for those whose personal or work schedule will not permit them to attend any of my classes this video is meant for you as well and for those who desire to self study on their own pace, on their own time, at their own speed, this is the video that is meant for you. And for those whose geographical location will not permit them to attend my classes, hey, you're welcome. Now you have access to my detailed video. No more excuses. All right, so what is it that is in this video? Before you make payment, before you buy it, what is it that is in this video? Okay, let's go. Let me show you what you'll find in this video. Now, the scope of this video is purely risk management framework seven steps, not six steps. I constantly update my materials. So it's based on NIST 837 revision two. What are the contents? The video is divided into seven weeks according to the NIST you know, risk management framework seven steps. For week one, there I taught my students CAP certification overview, cybersecurity terms, concept and definitions. We also treated system development lifecycle SDLC, introduction to risk management framework, 
Introduction to NIST Special Publications, Risk Management Framework Rules and Responsibilities. So if you look at this content, you compare it with the CAP certification, you know, syllabus or curriculum, they align. In week two video, there we talked about the risk management framework step one, which is prepare. Risk management framework step two, which is categorize. We had a detailed hands-on training on how to categorize the template, the documentation. And then we also had a detailed dive in into the NIST special publication for categorization. You'll find it in that video week two. In week three video, you'll find the RMF step three, which is select. You also find detailed hands-on training on how to select security controls. We also dealt and dived into NIST publication for selection of security control. So that is what you find in week three. Now, week four video, you will find in there the risk management framework step four, RMF step four, which is implement. In that week four videos, you also find hands-on training on how to develop and update SSP. The template is there. We did it. We updated it in that video. And you also be able to see the NIST publication for implementation. Dive in. We looked at it. Week five, we treated RMF step five assessment. We also treated detailed hands on on how to assess security controls. We also had an extensive hands on on how to update ST and E. ST and E means security test and evaluation. We also opened up, we dived in to NIST publication on how to assess security control, which is NIST 853A revision four. You'll see it in week five video. Week six is a continuation of week five. The thing is, it's still on RMF step five, assessment, continuation. So in week six, we had a hands-on training on how to develop and update Security Assessment Report, SAR. Hands-on training on how to develop and update POEM, Plan of Action and Milestone. In week seven, which is the last week, the last video, in there you see the RMF step six, which is authorized. I discussed and explained the different tasks under authorization, different authorization, what makes up the authorization package, the different authorization decision, everything was well explained in uh, the RMF step six. In week seven, we also treated RMF step seven, which is monitor. We talked about, we discussed, we explained the different strategies on how to continuously monitor the system. In week seven, we talked about how you can build your resume. Where do you go to, to put information together to build your resume? In week seven, we also talked about likely job interview questions and answer. What kind of question would they ask you? How do you answer? How do you negotiate for salary? What kind of question should you also ask them? We treated that in week seven. In week seven, we also talked about assessment tools that you're going to come across on the job. For example, CSAM, Exata, Archer, Risk Vision. These are just few of the assessment tools that we talked about. We only talked about it, we did not install it because you can install them. They are security tools. So we talked about them, how they are used, what they are used for, how do you log in into them, all of that we discussed it in class. In week seven, we also discussed vulnerability scanning tools, such as Nexus, Qualys, Retina, uh, Nmap. We discussed it, we did not install it. We only discussed it, what they are meant for. What, how do you scan? What are the you know, things you need to know before you scan? What are the likely reports, findings that the scanning tools will generate? So these are the contents of this video. So it's a video that details my training, hands-on training, minimum of two hours per video. So if you need it, you feel that it's going to be useful for you, give me a call. Yeah, this is my details here. My number is 202-854-9882. Give me a call. My email address is also there, info at titeconsult.com. 
now you are on my youtube channel please like my videos subscribe to my channel if you find this you know useful for you give me a call let's discuss the prizes a lot of people have been enjoying it they call me you know from different states from different you know country hey Emmanuel, i like your video do you have a video that you know you recorded that i can watch at my own time i say yes so they've been taking advantage of it so if it's something that you need or you know someone that needs it or you have taken the training somewhere else but you didn't get the good graphs of what they trained you on on this risk management framework this is a video for you to recuperate those knowledge this is the video that you can pause do the hands-on alongside with the video pause it you know go back again go along so there are there are assignments at the end of each video that I give to my students. You can follow through the assignment as well. There are documentations, templates. You will have access to the template as well. When the time comes, you will have access to the template. You will have access to the PDF materials that I'm using to train my students. It's all yours. For 90 days, you will have access to the recorded video. So give me a call. Shoot me an email. Let's discuss in details how this video could be of more help you know, to you. Thank you very much, and I look forward to hearing from you.